Hi and welcome guys. I'm going to show you today the Chocolatey, an awesome package manager for Windows. So if you never heard about Chocolatey, let's have a look. What is it? It's, as I mentioned, a package manager. And if you ever use like, things like APT or YAM for Linux, then you probably know what is it. So in essence, it allows you to install, update and remove software from the command line. And because it's command line, it allows you to be, you know, scripted or integrated with any other software. Another huge benefit of it, that it is an open source project, therefore you can use it for free in the business. Although there are paid options available. And if you are interested to see more, then pretty much you can go to chocolatey.org. So what we're going to talk about today is pretty much how to install Choco, which is a a name, a, a different name for the chocolatey. I'm going through the syntax, search software, install software, review what's installed, and install software, and finally how to upgrade software, which is, I think, the big one. So why don't we just get started? So if I got you interested to this point, then you probably ever wanted to have a software that can manage, you know, your other software, and that comes for free, and doesn't require setting up servers, etc. That was your point, then yeah, chocolate is the go. So let's have a look how to install chocolate in the first place. So all we really need is a little one liner that you paste to the PowerShell. So I'm pretty much on the chocolatey.org website and then slash install. And as we can see, it can run on anything from Windows 7 or Windows Server 2003. And all we really need is PowerShell, well, really version 3 because of TLS requirements and the net, .NET Framework 4. So pretty much any supported operating Windows system is there. And what we really need is this, is this one liner. And all it does really is download the chocolate install script and then, and then execute that. So why don't we copy it, go to our Visual Studio Code or PowerShell window and we just paste it, press enter. Now we see how it will start downloading itself and actually will set up itself. So let's just give it a second. So we'll do its magic. We see it's installing this on this PC. So yeah, the point is it's not centrally controlled, at least not on the open source version. But if you can script it, then you know you can control it from anywhere, which I think is kind of nice. Okay, so it says Choco. Yeah, because pretty much the executable is called Choco. And that's how we call it every time you use it. So if I just try Choco now, whether it will show me anything, as we can see, we have chocolatey version 10.15, which is, yeah, which has been, been out of that version for quite a few months now. So what chocolatey can do, like if we just try to briefly have a look, if we do choco hyphen question mark, and then we scroll up, scroll up, scroll up to the very top, you see there's a lot of information you can learn how to use the tool just from this command line. But pretty much we can do least find search, all of them are doing the same, it's pretty much looking for packages. We can grab info, which will pretty much allow you to achieve information about an application. We can install, we can pin so that we'll not update it. We can do outdated, so we we'll only list updated upgrade, which is probably one of the biggest things. Yeah, installing software is one thing, keeping it up to date is another. So yes, we can do it with Chocolatey, which you can uninstall and do all the interesting stuff. So why don't we, for example, try to look for, I don't know, Firefox. Chocolate is, gives you open source license. We can look for some open source software. So Choco find Firefox. And now we will go to the Chocolate server and check it. And by the way, actually you can spin up your own repository with your own software. Obviously you need to then prepare that software, etc. But actually if using internet is no go, you can have Chocolate kind of spin up locally. So let's see, and as you see, there's a lot of stuff that doesn't look like Firefox. They probably have Firefox mentioned somewhere in the description or tags or somewhere. But usually what we're looking for is at the very top. And as we can see, there's Firefox, it's version 86 and it's approved. And approved means it's pretty much been approved by official process. It is, it's been tested, it passed, it, pa it did pass the, the tests. And so obviously this is one way of looking for software. The other one is actually, if you go to the chocolatey website, you can just punch in there and look there. But I think you'll be using this more like that. So let's see. So for example, yeah, I found the one and I think this is the right Firefox one to use. We can actually do info Firefox. So let's try this. Info Firefox. 
Let's give it a start. Okay, one package found. We have you see a lot of information. What is it? And again, how to even like customize the installation if I want to pass some extra parameters. And then we have actually description. What is it? So whatever developer or whoever prepared that. Also, when it was published, which is twenty third of November, uh, February. And we can see, you know, more information. So it's like I can in the without leaving the shell, I can just install it. So how can I? What can I do about that? I can, for example, install it. Why not? Let's try Choco install Firefox. And let's just give it a second. I need to obviously be admin to be able to have admin rights around, you know, your shell as the admin. And by default, pretty much it will prompt you for every action you do. Like, are you sure you want to install it? And quite often you will see that, maybe not here, but pretty much there will be like a script. And you see what is it? .ps1. First, pretty much chocolate is driven by PowerShell, which is really nice. You can, quite often, if you, if you go to the website, you can actually open that files, like directly on the website. And we'll show you what's inserts, actually see what, how do they install, how, what chocolate does actually install your software silently, which is really cool. And obviously I want to install it, so yes, enter. And now we should see Firefox being installed. So let's actually now we see it's pulling this directly from the Firefox website. Mozilla's actually website, not Firefox's. So let's give that. It did download it. You see, it's also very verbose. So actually, you know what happens, which is nice. So let's see, installing Firefox. So let's give it a second. Okay, so it did install it even, no, it does a log, so actually you always keep a log, you can always, you know, because it's shell, you can output the log to the file, but even tells you where, even shows you where it's got installed, which is, I quite a few times in some applications where, it, actually, where is it installed? So if we try to find Firefox, we see it's there, just installed with chocolatey. How cool is that? Awesome. And the version should be version 86. At version 86. Nice. And what else I can do? I can actually give it a name of the few applications. Like here, so I'll be installing Note++ and VAC Video Player. And I can add at the end hyphen Y, and that will pretty much default that I do approve all the installations. So we just go and kind of do it silently. So why don't we just try to add a couple more applications, we see? Installing Note++. And then we will be installing VLC. So we have now plus plus plus. And chocolatey quite often has like a, a company script, like you see seen here, no plus 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 install. So it's like a, a dedicated script otherwise. So actually it does install two versions of not plus plus plus. This is just the script it uses to install, and then we actually it uses that to actually install the actual application. So now we've got no plus 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 and now we have VLC being installed. So I think just even by doing that, like just knowing this one command, finding and installing, I mean, this couple of commands, you can already probably streamline a lot of your work or provisioning the software the applications because if it's shell, you can, for example, use PowerShell to remote to the machine from the background and actually use this command and just say to say, hey, I did got software for you. Or you can, you know, check it in your management software, actually your management software will call this application. So I think this is a huge win just by this little little trick. So let's double check. Yes, we have VLC and we have no plus plus plus. I'm not gonna run them, but I think you get the idea. And there's tons of applications, a lot. There's a huge community of chocolatey. So if you need to install something and provided the software can be installed silently, probably it is on chocolatey. All right, what else can we do? Choco find. So Choco find is pretty much as we use here, but we can add with the version local only. So if I do Choco find local only, you see, it will show me the old application I install. And this is, yeah, chocolate itself. And there's something it actually, like a, something it uses actually to be able to an application. That's why you have extension, you have Firefox, Notepad++, and you have VLC, all the versions we wanted to. We can only install the outdated software installed by Chocolatey, but because we just install everything, then we don't. What I'm gonna do after finishing with this, I will actually jump on another PC that actually I use, and then just want to show you how the outdated and actually upgrading works. At the moment, obviously, we cannot do that because uh, it's just freshly. So I would, after this, I will jump on another PC and do some video. Okay, so let's do now uninstall, because I think it's telling you one thing, but sometimes it's uninstall. So I just do Choco uninstall, 
and then the name of the package, VLC in that case. And do I want to get rid of it? Well, yeah, why not? Yes, enter, off we go. This is pretty much it. So I think that gives you a good idea what chocolatey is and what it does. And what I do now, I will just jump on, yeah, as I told, different PC and actually we do some upgrades because I cannot do it on this PC. So I'm on my other laptop now with chocolate that I have been running for some time. So let's just have a look what we have in chocolatey outdated. We can, if we can actually see. And we see there are some applications. It actually tells me application name. What is the current version actually what is available? And pin is again that actually I'm not, not I'm I'm allowing for upgrades. Okay, so we have quite a few. So why don't we try to upgrade something? So for example, I have a I don't know choco upgrade Python three. Show me what's there, what's available. Like before. Now we start downloading this. So we obviously need to allow it a second. And it asks me whether I want to do so. Obviously, I can tell it to do to go and do it. So why don't we just upgrade this one? Let's give it a second. Actually, Python might take a little bit of time, so let's just let it do its thing. I'm actually pause and fast forward. Okay, so Python got installed. And although you know we've done it, it's not the best. I think it's not very efficient to actually go and go and install every single application. And what actually Chocolatey allows you to do is rather than specifying every single package you might want to upgrade, you can just tell it to go and upgrade all. So that's why we just go and check all updates and install them. But we can actually this, I guess the developers assume there will be there will be you'll be doing this a lot. It's actually they're providing a very nice alias and this is called CUP. So it stands for Choco Upgrade. We can do CUP all and we can throw our hyphen yes. So that way we'll be upgrading all our applications and we'll do it silently. So let's just try and see how it works. So you see I said all and it straight away picked up Calibri, which is great ebook manager. So we see now we see how this is in how this downloads it and install. What I do, I, I just fast forward this so you will not need to wait. But I think that this gives you a good idea. So, yeah, guys, that will be it. The whole cycle, you know, life cycle of the application, like we finding what we need, we install it, then we upgrade it, or we can find it and install it. All done one one application that it's been great. I've been using this for years and pretty much I just can't manage computers without that. And if you pair it with you know any sort of automation or even you can have scheduled scheduled tasks that will go and routinely go and check for upgrades, you already can save yourself a lot of time and definitely it's some money because there are applications that you know do that but you need to pay. Well with chocolate at least in the open source edition you don't. So I hope that will be useful to you, at least it's been to me. I know there's, uh, there's been development of Microsoft solution for that called WinGet, but uh, when I checked out this last time, last month, it wasn't pretty much fully featured like chocolatey. So maybe the you know WinGet will get better over time, but at least at the moment we have chocolatey that it's been with us for years. So hope you're gonna use it and let me know how it helped you. And stay tuned for the next video. Bye bye.